Hello guys, Sim Spencer here. I know I haven't made a video in a while, um, <coughs> but we're back with The Sims, and in case you haven't noticed, I've gotten some new expansion packs. I have recently added on to my collection uh, the Into the Future expansion pack and also World Adventures. Um, you're a robot, you should not be... Oh, God, this is... Hopefully this, you know, doesn't short circuit yeah. him. Uh, uh, that's new, okay. I did not know that. I know that Simbots, which suck, um, cannot go into the water. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, so I have this futuristic family. This is Gingham Fontaine. He is a ex kind of an explorer, but he's also a bot en engineer. Excuse me, I had something in my throat. Um, so he made this. Uh, I, I keep wanting to call them Simbots, but they're actually Plumbots. This is Alfred. I tried to make like a butler name. Um, he's not really much of a butler, but he's good friends with the gingham, so. so he doesn't have any trade chips yet because I I just got the expansion packs and I already love them absolutely, but ah. you know I haven't added trade chips. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make some trait chip and. He will go and do that. Meanwhile, we could just play around with Alfred. So, I bought this new house. What? What do you want? Oh, I need to make a nanite. Are you serious? Okay, let's make a nanite real quick and then create nanite. And we need a triple nanite. And then we can create a trait chip. Okay, back to Alfred. So, uh, I bought this house. It still amazes me that he is in the water and he's a robot, but. Yeah. You know, then again, this is the future. So this is the house. Uh, what is this floating thing? What? Does anybody else see this? Uh, okay. <clears throat> like I said, the future. I'm not surprised. So this is Gingham's house. He has another house in the... I guess if you want to call it the present, but this is his house in the future. I haven't customized it yet because this was a pre-built home, so I'm going to customize it. Let's see. We've got a bunch of stuff here. We don't have much money, but I'm going to just see some of the decorations and stuff because I haven't really gone into uh, into the future and huh, into the future um, and seen what kind of new stuff there is. So I'm going to look. I know there's those holographic plants which are pretty cool um let's see so oh we also have world adventure stuff so we can look at those as well but this is going to be more of a modern house um i want to keep it with that because then it goes with the whole future thing what is this that's a lamp that does not look like a lamp i'll be honest hollow oh the sprites are another thing that i want to try and play around with because they look they look like Pokemon they really do like I mean if I saw one of those I'd be like is that a Pokemon and then it, it would be all like wah, 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 or whatever sound they make I don't really know that's a telescope Wow. Uh, that's a chess table that's kind of neat what is what is all this extra these extra platforms that's weird Stop it. I don't like new things. So there's this computer, which I think he already has one of. Yeah, he has that. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. So in here we have the time portal, which he doesn't need because there's already one in the center of town. Uh, the jetpack, which I would like to get at 720. I'll, I'll wait for that. So there's not really much else I would feel like doing, but this is a two bedroom home. So maybe, here we go, AI angler, that's what we want. Maybe we could play around with that. So while he's over making the trait chip, uh, go, go back again. Oh, you know what, whatever. So this is Oasis Landing. I don't know if you guys who are watching this have uh, the Sims into the future, but this place is freaking awesome. Excuse my language if that's offensive to anyone, but I mean seriously Except for this part. This is like this was supposed to be the I guess the ocean area See there was a beach here, but now it's all dried up and there's ships and stuff that are I think this is a houseboat over here 
Hold on, let me go around. Yeah, this used to be a houseboat, and now it's all... Yeah. My question is, though, when these oceans are melting, or not melting, but, like, you know, drying up, how are they all the way out here, and why are they still out there? I think that's my question. So, we're gonna go over here. They have this thing called the Zephyr, which is a kind of bus thing, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, it is, it's weird. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of, it jumps from one thing to another. I'll show it to you later, and I'll see if Gingham wants to use that later. Maybe if he goes into town. But he lives over here, and this is, t like, downtown, I guess. Um, there's some houses over here. This is supposed to be, like, a dam. Um, there's some more houses over here, and they're, they're different station names. Oh, there's, what? I didn't even know there was, this whole place was up here. What's this? Descendants. So... I have descendants up here. I didn't even know this was a house. Well, there were houses up here. Ew. They're kind of weird looking because they're not modern. I'm not used to that. Ew. And they're all gray too. It's kind of weird. There's also a bar. I think you can see the bar. See, these cars do not go with this building because that kind of building, I don't know, it's weird. At least these things are kind of... No, not really. I was going to say, they're kind of futuristic. Jeez. This is desolate. I heard a Simbot. I don't know. Who, oh, there he is. Or she. Daisy. That's a girl. <laughs> Daisy's all alone. Is she going to start dancing? Can you even dance with the hover legs? Like, is that a thing? Okay, I'm out of here. All right, let's go back to Alfred. What is he doing? He's still swimming. Alfred, why don't you, um, oh, why don't you go charge? Charge yourself. It's another thing I like. You can siphon the power, which is pretty cool if you're out and about. I think that's what it does, if I'm correct. <clears throat> what are you? What is this thing? See, I haven't really explored all of this stuff when it comes to Into the Future. Is that like a shower? What? All right, you can go home, Gingham. What? Quickie cl <laughs> Quickie cleanse. Whoa. I think this is like a shower. Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you. Uh, Gingham's bedroom is up here. And he has this bath. I like this little grass floor. That looks neat. I don't think it's grass, but it's supposed to look like grass. So I'm not sure what that shower thing is. I think it's just like a, a quick shower. Gingham, oh, you're home, all right. Why don't you go to the food synthesizer, the Nima Bobber, which is down here. Why don't you eat something? Have lunch, oh gosh, yes! I love this. See, uh, this is one of the things I was looking forward to, to the fact that, well, geez, any tail clothing? And that happened. Oh, okay. Bad quality. Well, where did you pull that sponge out of? <laughs> well, uh, uh, okay. Not very good synthesizer if it doesn't make good food. Bad quality. Poor Gingham. He has to eat all the bad quality stuff. Well, him. <laughs> Can he cook? Let's let's have him make some grilled cheese. All right, you can stop charging now. How's your battery? His battery's like halfway. Mm. What? Oh, I thought I, I thought he could like watch TV, and that would give him energy. Silly me. All right, clean this up, slob. So I kind of wanted Alfred to be somewhat of a like a butler kind of but he he's very independent um gingham tried to fix him or upgrade him and he actually shocked gingham with the screwdriver so yeah um oh wait what he can wash his dishes in there how did that turn out for you alfred of course it well went well for alfred why wouldn't it we'll put this in the uh 
Is that like a fridge or what? I don't know. That's like in everything. That is in. No. Just ah. go make it in everything. Would you quit being so frustrated? God, take a break for a minute. Alfred, get in the hot tub. Just sit in there. Or actually, better yet, siphon the power from the hot tub. Watch this. This is the coolest thing. Where's my soda? Ah! It looks like he's trying to block it. Excuse me. This is going to hurt your ears. Soda. All right, that's really loud, so you can stop that. Swim. No, no swimming. No swimming allowed. Do we have a beach? Oh, I was gonna say, do we have like a secret room down there or something? Um, Alfred, why don't you go out into town and do something? Why don't you go to the Zephyr Station, which I'll show you guys. Uh, we'll go downtown. Wait until you see this. <clears throat> Alright, speed it up, dude. I'll show you this. So he gets he gets out of the station and he he goes over here. He goes into the station. Couldn't go any slower, could he? Yeah, so um this is yeah this is really cool i think this is one of the coolest things um at first i thought the the separation and tracks were actually a glitch but they're not they're supposed to be like that so i thought gee am i missing what did i just do did i just sleep what what did you do hunger result okay made a good sale Oh, okay. Yeah, he's been exploring, um, as you can tell. He's got some stuff. He actually has a friend named Bertha. And he met her, and he was, like, checking her out. I'm like, dude, you're you're very blunt when it comes to that stuff. Alfred, why don't you hang out at this chic bar over here? What's this? What is this? Legacy Park. So that's just a park? Hmm. They added some new things. They added, like, what is this? I don't know what that is. This is, like, the observatory, a robot shop, I guess, if you want to call it that, and a bot arena. I'm not sure what the bot arena does. I haven't checked that one out yet. Okay. Uh, let's not go over there. What's over here? I don't know what that means. <gasps> is this, like, a drink thing? What? Is that what that is? That's so cool. Oh, you're so good at this. She looks really confused. Okay, I'm not that. Where's your drink, dude? Oh. Oh, it's oil. Uh. Hold on. It's oil. That's weird. Cheese plate. Chrissy Fontaine. Oh, wait, what? Fontaine? Hmm. So, that might be one of his descendants. We can't see his descendants. Not sure why, but they live over here, I think. Hold on. Where are you? Yeah, they live up here, which is kind of cool. Then again, kind of creepy, because they can be like, oh, how did I die? And then I'm pretty sure that'll cause like a wormhole or something, something catastrophic. But okay, so he's sleeping. That is really neat. What is this? Um, This house? I don't know what that does, but that's pretty cool. Do we have it anywhere else? No. So a lot of things in this game now are holographic, like this. Um, I think, yeah, the computer thing is, and the TV things are, and all this 
jazz. I think there's, where's the TV? Do we have a TV? We should. Maybe we don't, I don't know. Hmm. We've gotta have one somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I think the TV is holographic too. Um, so. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode. Next time, we're gonna play around with all the bot features. We're gonna, what, oh. We are going to put some trait chips in him to make him less of a, shall we call him a servo and more of a, like, a person. A bit creepy, but, I mean, hey, there's no fun without creepy. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. Well, you can't leave a subscribe, but definitely subscribe if you can. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.